hey guys welcome back to my channel so this video is going to show you how i make my removable quick weave this is how i make all of my wigs so i'm gonna first um bleach the knots on my closure so this hair was sent to me from today only um hair company and they sent me three bundles of brazilian loose wavy hair in 220 118 and 116 inch lace closure so i'm gonna have all the information in the description bar for you guys to check out so i made the, like a thick paste and then i use that without putting any pressure onto the closure i spread that paste using a knife like how you would spread butter onto a slice of bread so that's how i didn't want the the bleach to seep through the lace and then after that i'm going to tweeze the closure to make it look a little bit more natural. I always tweeze my closure, it doesn't matter if it's frontal or closure, I tweeze them because to make that airline look a little bit more natural and not so full. So I just go in and tweeze and you guys can just watch and see how I do that. Sorry I was in the frame but I tweeze and then I make a part and then I tweeze again. So I continue to continuously do that until I get the result that I was looking for then I always sew my closure onto my stocking foot cap. I don't use a dome cap whenever I'm making my removable quick weave or my wigs. I only use stocking foot cap because um, the glue will stick easily to the stocking foot cap than the dome cap. The dome, using the dome cap it will slide like it won't last as long so I always sew my closure onto my stocking foot cap then I glue my tracks onto my stocking foot cap. So that's what I do. I find that whenever I try to glue my closure onto my stocking foot cap and I it didn't last. So I started to just sew it first and then um, glue the tracks. So this is how the bundles look. The ends are a little bit trashy, but I deep condition the hair and this is how much I get. That was a 20 inch bundle. I put some glue, hair glue onto the weft and then I go in with my pump it up spray spritz and then I spray some onto the, um, the weft and then I use, always use my blow dryer to seal that in. This will help the glue to stick and trust me, I've, I've had wigs that I have for years, two years that I made from glue and using the stocking foot cap method and it never give me any tartar trouble or remove or anything like that so i love this because it lays flat and it's snug to my head i don't have to use any combs or anything it just stay onto my head and that's it i can just grab it and go so this i'm just showing you guys how i made this wig there's not much to say it's just simple look and learn i don't need to explain anything else i continuously glue it the tracks onto the stocking foot cap until I'm um, finished and for the first bundle I did not cut the weft I do the fold over method even though it's glue and then the second and the third bundle I start cutting the weft because I was going up to where the face framing is so I wanted that to be extremely flat and yeah
um, okay so this is a natural texture of the hair when after I wash it and dye it um, it has some loose wavy then went in with a one inch curling wand just to add a little bit more you know curls into it not all throughout the hair but just I got I just take just a tiny sections from around the hair to make it look a bit more curly or have a little bit more movement and I just had some curls in it and that's it that's simple 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 look simple wig if you want to see how I did this color on the wig let me know and I will put a video up comment below and let me know if you want to see how I did this color on the wig because I did went, went in and did the color but since um, my last few videos I show you guys how to highlight and stuff I didn't know if I, I should put up another video showing how I did colors so if you want me to show you guys how I do that then please leave that in the description the comment section and I will definitely make a video showing you how I do it so I hope you like this video hope you find this helpful um, please give this video a thumbs up also subscribe to my channel and yeah take care and I'll see you in my next one bye guys